Have you seen this video? That was a video of a house being blown up in Gaza earlier that had a family living in it. And what about this video? That was a girl who was recording her family who was stuck under the rubble in a house in Gaza, who later died because they couldn't get out. And what about this video? They're just a few of what is almost 100,000 apartment buildings that have been flattened because of Israel. And yet there are still some people out there that will say this is okay because Hamas was hiding inside the buildings. And yet Israel has blown up nearly 100,000 buildings. And yet we think that there's only 20,000 Hamas soldiers. So that in itself doesn't even make sense. And these same people will still make excuses even after seeing that. And they'll go, well, we just got it wrong. Or they'll go, well, they were listening to Hamas. But eventually, if you keep pushing them on points, they eventually go, well, they deserve to die anyway. They just stole our land. Because the truth is, these people don't care about whether they kill Hamas or not. They want to kill all of the Palestinians. And then after they take all of Palestine, like they're trying to do in the West Bank, they're going to take it all and call it Israel, and then they'll move into the Middle East too. And it's not an opinion, they even say it themselves. Even before October the 7th, 224 innocent Palestinians were killed this year alone. And just a few weeks before October the 7th, Benjamin Netanyahu went into a United Nations meeting and he held up a map showing just Israel and it didn't show any of Palestine. Israel is now forcing the Palestinians out of southern Gaza, which they said was safe, but now they're making them leave Gaza and they're not saying where to go. And there's only one place they can go, and that's Egypt. Israel is openly committing war crimes at this point by trying to force the Palestinians out of their homes while still depriving them of food and water and other necessities that you need. Over a thousand innocent Palestinians have been killed because of Israeli bombing in the last 24 hours. That's more people killed in a 24-hour period than ever before in the past 75 years of Israeli history. And I think if countries like America don't cut all aid to Israel, this is very quickly going to escalate towards something much bigger than what it already is. And that's mainly because sensible countries have had enough of the Israelis quite literally genociding Palestine. I'm going to keep you updated on what's happening, and if you want to see some of that, you can leave me a follow. But the rest of what's happening, it just pisses me off, to be honest.